Hello beautiful enlightened souls. I hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy. Guided to share a message in regards to um, signs that I saw today. And I'll take it as a sign. Many of you may have experienced your signs in synchronicity. And that's just God in the universe trying to guide you and just let you know that you are on a particular path, a particular journey, and that you are on the right path of your journey, of your soul's truest, highest form of existence and essence. I don't know if any of you saw this, but this morning... I saw right through some clouds a very bright light that was actually within the cloud. So it's probably a uh, re refraction of the colorful rays of rainbow. Um, it was just a prism of the rainbow colors, all of that I saw. And I just thought to myself, isn't that amazing? Because there was nothing in sight of any um, precipitation or rain and the atmosphere. It was a beautiful sunny morning. And um, that was just taken to me as a sign that, you know, God was just giving us a glimpse of what's to come a glimpse of hope and of what is going behind the scenes because as you know many of us we've been going through so much and so much in this world right now we've been preparing these last few days for what is to come and what has come and we know that God is just preparing us to be the beacon of the light to share God's messages of love, to share the compassion, to share why it is that many who has come before us, Lord Buddha, Lord Jesus, any of other ascended masters that you know of, who has spread their mission, their message of God's love for each and every one of us. And although the world may seem so dark right now for many, what we are called to and what we are needed to do now is everything that we've been preparing for with God is that we need to continue to be grounded and centered and at the right alignment with our heart and our mind and to send out the love and prayer to all that is affected and so God loved the world that that love needs to be echoed out throughout the entire planet and just that glimpse of the rainbow was enough to shed some light and to shed some hope that there is a brighter future ahead of us and not to give up wherever you are in your life God is asking each and every one of us to continue to move forward 
and continue to live a joyous, prosperous life. And it comes from within. It comes from within your heart. That is your true essence. Know that you are God within you. You are God's divine spark. You are God's creation. You are God's love. And whatever it is that you've experienced or have gone through in the past, know that God is loving, God is forgiving, God is compassionate, God is love, and you are love. And we pray that all that's been affected God can reach to the hearts and to the depth of each and every one of our hearts and soul and just pour out God's love so that they come to the realization of just how loved they are. And there is no need to seek anything outside of themselves that is not out of love. When I prayed upon the message that God in the universe wanted to share with us today in regards to the fraction of the prism, two messages came out for us and it, it, it has a very powerful meaning behind it because the uh, message is shot right out of the deck. And that's only happened for me a couple of times, but this one was very, was very powerful. And the one that did the message that came out for us was the hangman. The other message that came out for us was the queen of coins that had flipped out. These all came out upright. And the message that I'm getting here is that we have been in a waiting period. We've been waiting on God. We've been doing the work. We've been preparing ourselves for what we call the spiritual welfare. We do not come here to fight this battle with any weapons. We came here to serve God by showing compassion and love and peace and harmony. We came here to do God's work. And that's the work that we've been doing behind the scenes. So we've been in a period of seeing things at a greater perspective. We've been working within the spiritual realms and we've been harnessing that tangibly so that what we've been going through and the spiritual realm, we bring it down here and ground it to the earthly third dimensional realm. And that's the message that's coming through with the Queen of Coins and the Hangman. We've been enlightened. We know what it is that we have to do. We've been in a waiting period to wait on God. And seeing that rainbow of colors this morning 
It's a sign from God that it is go time. The green light is on. So all of you who's been working so hard behind the scene, you know what it is that God is asking you to do. And we really do need to start coming out of our shell, stepping out and uplifting humanity once again, and going forth out in love, peace, and with God and the angels by our side, we all can do this together. We all can create the heaven on earth that God has promised, but we must take that step first within us and create the reality that we want to envision for ourselves, for current generation and for future generations to come. And as I say that, 1111 came up. And so our souls and our mission are aligned into God's purposes and God's will. And I hope this message helps you, inspire you, and uplift you to keep going because you are so loved. You are never alone. And you are meant here right now to do God's will for glory to God with peace and harmony and love may you be so grateful to God and blessed so that you can be a blessing to others